Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this session, we'll be discussing about an array of n isotropic point sources. So till now we saw what an array of antennas is. So in an array of antennas, it consists of multiple number of antennas that are placed together. So what do you mean by an array of n isotropic point sources? Well, let's find out. So now an array is said to be linear if the elements are equally spaced along a straight line. So let us consider an array of antennas that are placed along a straight line. So therefore, if the spaces between these antennas are equal, then it is said to be a linear array of n isotropic sources. So now let us consider n isotropic point sources as elements. And now let us assume that all these sources are excited by a current of equal magnitude and let us assume that the phase increases uniformly. So now if the far field is inclined at an angle theta with respect to the axis then the path difference is obtained as path difference is equal to d cos theta and therefore the phase difference phi is given as 2 pi by lambda into d cos theta. The phase difference is 2 pi by lambda into d cos theta. Now, if the phase of source 1 is 0 and the total phase difference between 2 and 1 is given as alpha, then the total phase of 2 is given as 2 pi by lambda into d cos theta plus alpha. So that is, if the phase of 1 is 0 and alpha is the phase difference between source 2 and 1, then the total phase of 2 is given as phi is equal to 2 pi by lambda into d cos theta plus alpha. So here the phases of 1, 2, 3, etc. up to n is given as 0, psi, 2 psi, 3 psi, etc. up to n minus 1 into psi. That is the phase of 1, 2, 3, etc. up to n is 0, psi, 2 psi, 3 psi up to n minus 1 into psi. Therefore, the corresponding electric fields are obtained as E0 into E raised to J0, E0 into E raised to J psi, E0 into E raised to J2 psi, E0 into E raised to J3 phi. So therefore, so therefore the electric fields are E0 into E raised to J0, E0 into E raised to J psi, E0 into E raised to J2 psi, etc. up to E0 into E raised to J n minus 1 into psi. Therefore, by taking the value of E0 is equal to 1, that is if E0 is equal to 1, then the antenna factor is obtained as the sum of the total electric fields that is antenna factor AF is equal to 1 plus e raised to j psi plus e raised to j 2 psi plus etc up to e raised to j n minus 1 into psi. So this is the antenna factor. So now multiplying both these sides with e raised to j psi we get antenna factor into e raised to j psi is equal to e raised to j psi plus e raised to j 2 psi plus etc up to e raised to j n psi. So if this is taken as equation number 1 and if this is taken as equation number 2 subtracting equation 2 with 1 that is equation 2 minus equation 1 we get the antenna factor into e raised to j psi minus 1 is equal to e raised to j n psi minus 1. So therefore by rewriting this we get the antenna factor AF is equal to e raised to j n psi minus 1 divided by e raised to j psi minus 1. So this is the antenna factor which is equal to e raised to j n minus 1 psi by 2 the whole into sin n psi by 2 divided by sin psi by 2. So therefore from this the normalized array factor can be written as normalized array factor AF is equal to AF is equal to sin n psi by 2 divided by n sin psi by 2. So that is the normalized array factor. So the value of this is maximum when psi by 2 is equal to plus or minus m pi. That is this is maximum when psi by 2 is equal to plus or minus m pi. 
that is beta d cos theta plus alpha by 2 is equal to plus or minus m pi and now this is null when the numerator factor is 0 that is this is null when sin n psi by 2 is equal to 0 that is n psi by 2 is equal to plus or minus n pi which implies that psi is equal to plus or minus 2n pi by n that is beta d cos theta is equal to plus or minus 2n pi divided by n. So, this thus gives you a clear understanding of what a linear array of n isotropic point sources are. So, I hope you guys now have a clear idea as in what a linear array of n isotropic point sources are and we will discuss more in the upcoming videos. So, thank you guys for watching and see you. Thank you.